It's the time of year when speculations of the new theme of American Horror Story run rampant and Ryan Murphy relishes in knowing everything that we don't. But now we officially have a title for the new Murder House and Coven crossover season of American Horror Story, Apocalypse. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Matt Rogers. For the past few months, avid fans have been speculating that the much anticipated eighth season will be a fallout or a nuclear based season. On set photos from alleged insiders showed the AHS logo with a radioactive symbol alongside it. Creator Ryan Murphy then added fuel to the fire saying that fans should take notice of what will happen in October of 2019, a full year after the season premieres. And Reddit user Gatto1980 noticed that, quote, October 6th will be the 58th anniversary of President Kennedy telling Americans to build nuclear bomb shelters. I know it's kind of a stretch and probably not right, I just thought it might have something to do with the nuclear title of the season that's been floating around, end quote. Now, although the nuclear and the Fallout titles have been debunked, they weren't too far off with Apocalypse being announced at this year's Comic-Con. Ryan Murphy drives me crazy with his high and mighty attitude thinking that everything he tweets will send the world into mayhem. I must admit I love the worlds he creates, but he just can't help himself but spoil some of the best surprises of the past seasons. And if you ask me, it seems like a desperate attempt to seem relevant. It's a miracle that he managed to keep the sixth season Roanoke under wraps until the premiere. Speaking of Roanoke, I was obsessed with the ambiguous teasers that were dropped for this season, and now that we have the official posters for Apocalypse, it makes me wonder if it was foreshadowed in some of the season 6 teasers. So Ryan Murphy tweeted back in June, quote, The Coven Murder House AHS crossover season won't be happening next year because it's happening this year. AHS number eight, witches rule this September, end quote. And rumor has it that Cordelia Fox's coven from season three will be taking on the spawn of Evan Peters Tate from season one. Now what am I gonna do with you? Rumored to be the Antichrist, and I guess represented by the red baby in the poster being grabbed by the hand of Satan, or at least some sort of demon. Since then, Ryan Murphy has continued to spout spoilers to Entertainment Weekly, saying, quote, it's a character from season one that will be thrust into the world that you're left with at the end of Coven, which is sort of like the male-female witch academy. And then all of those characters will intertwine, which is confusing because some of them are from seasons one and three, like Sarah Paulson will probably be playing 18 characters. Characters, end quote. I don't think anyone will be mad no matter how many roles Sarah Paulson plays because she owns every single one that she steps into the shoes of. On a side note, Paulson has just been announced as one of the main stars in M. Night Shyamalan's new thriller, Glass. But while we're on the topic of cast, alongside Paulson, FX has confirmed Kathy Bates, Evan Peters, Billy Lord, Billy Eichner, Cheyenne Jackson, Adina Porter, and recently confirming Emma Roberts as Madison Montgomery and newcomer Hollywood veteran Joan Collins. All I want is just one more season with Jessica Lange. Freak Show was a terrible season to send her off with, and she obviously hasn't retired from acting like she said she would as she worked with Murphy in his other effects show, Feud. So he is hoping, and although Fiona Good is surely dead, I'm sure they could find a place for Constance, who was actually the one raising the spawn of Satan at the end of season one. Murphy has said we're going to see so many fan favourites return, it's going to feel like the love boat. And as much as I love seasons one and three, I just hope that cameos and fan service don't get in the way of good storytelling like there was in season two in Asylum. Now it's been said that there's going to be a hook in episode five of this upcoming season, and apparently it's going to be like nothing we've ever seen before. Roanoke had something along those lines, lines with it breaking the fourth wall about halfway through, but I guess this is taking it to a whole new level. But let me know, what do you guys think? Are you excited for an end of the world take on American Horror Story? Or do you think that Ryan Murphy is clinging on to fan favourites to feed his insatiable need for attention? I'll be chatting with you guys in the comments. But until next time, thanks so much for hanging out. If you had a good time, then spank that like button. And if you subscribed during this video, then welcome aboard. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all.